I'm Ms. Zartastic, and today we're going to draw a lovely little narwhal swimming under some ice. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. The first thing we're going to do is draw our narwhal's horn. So we're going to begin with a nice little U shape on an angle and we're going to draw one long line out and then a second. Next, you can draw some curving parallel lines in that long tusk to create horn texture. Next, we're gonna draw the body. So first, we're going to bring a curved line down for the front of the face and then a curve line down for the back, out for the tail, out for the fins, okay? So we're gonna come around and out. Before we get back to there, we're gonna continue on the face. So we're gonna bring a little curving line in and then bring it back out just a little bit. Bring a curving line down. Then we'll add a fin, so we'll draw a nice sweeping fin there. Next, we're gonna continue from that little fin out to the tail, so as we work our way towards that tail, it's going to get a little bit more narrow. Another lovely sweeping curved line. Curve one line in, curve the second line in. Isn't that just lovely? Next. We'll add a little air hole, and then we're going to give our lovely narwhal um, eyes. So we're gonna add a nice big circle. Then we're going to add one large circle and one smaller circle. From there, you can lightly color in the remaining space. So that way you have just a nice little eye. You can also add a couple lines on either side. And then we're going to add a nice belly. So we're gonna take a curving line and add it to the bottom. Now, before we continue on adding some texture on our body, we're going to add another little fin at the bottom, but that one's just hiding in the background, so we're not really going to see it. Now, we're going to add some spots along the back of our narwhal. Beautiful. Next, we're going to add some ice above our narwhal. So we're going to have a nice little angled line. It goes back inward, outward, inward, and then out. Now I'm going to make this quite shallow looking because of the perspective. So I'm gonna have nice zigzag lines along here, but then it's gonna go straight across from, because of the perspective, we're kind of imagining that we're looking on it at a bit more of a higher angle. And then on the edges of the ice, you can add some teeny tiny vertical lines. So on every corner, add a tiny vertical line and then you're gonna bring that and connect 
it all together. So making those lines nice and parallel to the ice. Add a few waves. To finalize it, you can add some kind of wavy, zigzaggy lines at the top there. And that's just for some lovely, lovely, lovely snowy background texture. And to, if you want to give it a nice little final touch, you can add a little sun as a centerpiece in the sky. All right, my friends, so now we're going to grab something to color with. For me, I'm going to be using some felt markers today. Um, I'm going to do a purple narwhal, but you grab whatever mark makers uh, make you happy, whether it's wax crayon and felt markers or pastel, and let's get on coloring. I'm going to begin coloring my narwhal uh, with purple marker. Now, if you don't want to use purple, you can pick a different color. We're going to color first, and then once it's colored, I'm going to highlight and shade using my white and black wax crayons. When I get to the fins, I'm going to color part of it with purple and then I'm going to switch to a pink and it could be, if you don't have a marker in the color that you want, you can always switch to a wax crayon or a pencil crayon or just pick something that's a lighter value. So for me, this is the color I'm going to use. Okay. Next, I'm going to color the horn in leaving a little bit of the top white so that way it's nice and bright. And actually I'm going to alternate it with a slightly different color. I'm actually going to bring some blue into my horn. Lovely. And I'll make some of that blue. Wonderful. I can also take that blue and color a little bit around the eye just to soften it and shade it. You can also add a little bit inside the white of the eye as well. Perfect. I'm going to grab a gray. A nice light gray. I'm going to take that nice light gray and add just a nice little line along where the belly is and where the belly meets the body. I can use that gray to shade in some of those areas. And also part of the tail.
You can pick any color you want to color in your spots. I'm just going to use a nice cream. And now I'm gonna go back and grab that gray because we're gonna use it to shade this the sides of the ice. So pick your gray, whatever kind of gray you have, and you can use it to shade the sides of the ice. You can also shade with whatever you have, gray, along that horizon line where the mountain ridges. Grab a yellow. Color in your sun. And finally, we need to add some details to that water. So, let's grab our blue to color in that water. I'm not gonna color all the water, so I'm just gonna color parts, primarily around my narwhal. And of course, when we're coloring around our details, we're going to be very careful not to color the things we have already previously colored, okay? So if you want it to stay nice and clean, we're going to be very careful as we color around. Now, when I get to those edges, I'm just gonna stop about there and I'll come down to about here. All right, so let's color our background blue. Finally, to finish off our narwhal, I'm going to grab a black wax crayon and I'm going to use that to shade. So anywhere there might be a shadow, we're just going to softly color in a circle around those areas such as around the eye and mouth. along underside of the belly and tail, just part of it anyway. We're going to shade just gently over that fin in the back. You can do the underside of that tusk and that's gonna make it really pop off the page. You can shade some of these hills if you would like to add a little bit more depth and texture or really shade in those corners there just to make them pop. You can use white to highlight just to brighten some of those values. And then, once we're done that, we're just going to take our black marker and we're going to go over that outline of our narwhal just to thicken it up to make it the focal point of our little arctic landscape. So I'm going to thicken up those lines. And 
that will make it all look nice, sharp, and crisp. And once you've gone back over those lines to make it pop, your lovely little narwhal is done.